Kobe Fleener, Stanford University, and uh, tight end of the year. It's exciting. Um, you know, we worked hard in the off season and uh, during practices and stuff like that to make sure that um, you know we had a winning season and um, you know. But the credit really goes to the guys I played with and the, the coaches putting me in the positions to be successful. Well, I think I can't take the credit. I mean, you really look at the guys that I played next to, the offensive linemen, the quarterback, obviously, uh, the running back and wide receivers. They really made my job easy on a daily basis. Um, and then to have the coaching staff that we did, um, you know, with all three of the tight ends that we had, they really put us in positions to be successful. Um, you know, I think they utilized uh, my speed and uh, having a quarterback like Andrew to throw you the ball helps as well. So it was uh, the benefit to have him and all the guys around me. <laughs> That's a pretty big trophy. I'm excited. Uh, I think so. Uh, Beard needed the biggest in my uh, trophy case back home. So I don't think I've uh, received anything like that. Uh, Stanford in general was a wonderful experience. I mean, the school sells itself. Uh, and then going there uh, after a 1-11 season and helping to turn the program around was uh, one of the best experiences uh, in my time at Stanford. So, you know, I, it's something I'm really proud of and we'll look back on with fond memories in years to come. Well, I think everyone uh, matures both physically and mentally in college. Um, but for me, it was one of those things where I had to find the right time management skills, especially at Stanford, where you have multiple multiple things going on at the same time, you know, sports, school, et cetera, et cetera. So you have to be able to balance properly the amount of effort you put towards each thing and you want to succeed in all of them. So, yeah, I mean, time management was a huge thing to learn and to uh, improve on. Well, I think I'll always remember the one-headed touchdown catch uh, at UCLA, or excuse me, at Stanford against UCLA. That was always a highlight for me and fun for the whole team, I think. So I see that as uh, a career-defining moment, and I'm excited to uh, have that. Yeah, uh, I'd say about an 8 a.m. wake-up, go eat team training table breakfast, which is one of the... The aspect of Stanford that I'll probably miss the most is an amazing meal every day, breakfast. And then uh, go over to classes through maybe noon or early in the afternoon, then head off to practice, uh, meeting, stuff like that, and then finally finish up with some homework and then do it all over again the next day. Well, I think the whole campus is beautiful. Um, to see come down Palm Drive is the first thing you see at Stanford is a great experience for all the incoming freshmen a neat thing to see for visitors. I think Andrew Luck is being a, an architecture major could probably tell you a little bit more about the architectural design of Stanford University, but uh, it is an undoubtedly beautiful place. Well, it's, it's really one of those things that comes with practice and time spent on the field together. You know, timing in any uh, football team is one of those where you you build it over time. I think Andrew and I spent a lot of time in the off season and during practice to make sure that you know we had um, ideal timing. Right, it's, a, it's an offense similar to an NFL offense where um, the West Coast offense where you build with concepts and they progressively get bigger and bigger, and you can change it by formation, personnel, and it gradually grows and grows and grows over the years that you're there until uh, it becomes what it is today. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to have hobbies, but uh, most of the time I'm focused on school and football, so hopefully someday after football I'll be able to get some time to develop a hobby, but at this point it's pretty much training and school. So, yeah, um, both my parents live in Illinois. I have a younger sister named Brianna, who was a volleyball player at East Carolina University. Um, 
I mean, uh, she was, she's a great athlete. Um, yeah, I think that's about it as far as family goes. I think I've had uh, a great amount of coaches with different takes on life, different takes on the game. But they've all had their various impacts on me in different ways. It's been nice to have uh, different points of view impacting the way I see the game as well as the way I see life. So, uh, like I said, I mean, my time at Stanford has been amazing, and I think the coaches contributed to that. But I can think back to a time when I uh, was in the huddle, Andrew couldn't get the play call from the sideline, and I knew based on the personnel that we were going to run a specific play. So uh, I got the opportunity to call my first college play, and uh, right as we were about to run it, we got uh, a timeout call from the sideline, and we didn't end up running it. So uh, my, my first play call turned out to be a timeout. Coach Shaw is an amazing guy and a great coach. I think he demonstrated this year that he's uh, ready, willing, and able to lead a Stanford team to uh, success in the years to come. I mean, he, he did well this year, and I think based on the recruiting class that they got this year and the guys that they have coming back, they'll be very successful uh, in the future. I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you for the support over the years. Thank you for uh, really believing in Stanford football.